Okay, uh, let's start our uh, continuation of our discussion uh, of the numerical methods uh, root finding uh, solution. So this uh, discussion will be focused on uh, regular fallacy or false position method. So this method is another type of bracketing methods. It was developed for the fact that a bisection method has a slow rate of convergence. So the regular falsy method has a slow rate of convergence uh, and it's much better compared to the uh, bisection method. Uh, since the approximation of the regular falsy method is obtained from the point uh, xm here, xm zero, uh, where the second line L connecting this point 1 to point 2. Okay. So we're the second line L uh, joining the points, say, X1 and F of X1 joining the point x2 and fx2 okay so the slope of the second line l uh, can be used uh, can be solved using the slope formula so what is the slope formula so meaning uh, we have to uh, we already known that the slope formula is uh, m is equal to y2 minus y sub 1 over x2 minus x sub 1. So here, our point 1 is this point, x1, f of x1. And then our point 2 will be here, x2 and f of x2. So if we have to get the slope of this uh, second line L, we have uh, m is equal to y2 y where y2 is f of x2 minus y1 which is f of x1 uh, all over uh, x2 minus x1 okay now for example at this point of this juncture xm here we have a our our, our coordinates of this point is uh we have um say x m zero because uh this point this point here is uh, lies on the x axis so coordinate of this point x m here here we have to focus here so x m zero is the coordinate of this point okay now if we have to get the slope from this point to this point let us say this is point one now this is my point one already so point one point one this is point one so uh, my coordinates of the point one is x m zero and then my coordinates of the point two is x two f x two okay so therefore the same slope which is equal uh, the slope here from here to this point uh, from this point to this point is zero or rather this is uh, for example uh correct me uh this is wrong this is point two uh considering this is point one okay so uh y2 so see this is zero okay zero minus uh f x of two this is uh, f of x of two is y1 and then our x of 2 is x m minus x of 2 okay so let's have uh, put in mind that this is now the rule uh, in uh, approximating the root using the false position method so we have three arguments here so if f of x1 and f of x m have opposite signs so our root lies in x1 and xm okay if f of xm and f of x2 have opposite signs our root lies in xm and x2 
Okay, it should be, uh, we have to note this one. We have opposite uh, signs. So if we evaluate that if f x sum m is 0, so we found at x equal to x m, so is now the root. x m is now the root. So we have to stop. Okay. So this is uh, the regular false C or false position method um, illustration. Okay, suppose we have a graph here. This is a function. Okay, a function. Supposedly, the root of the function is uh, here. This is the root. Okay. So by using this method, we have to approximate, let us say, x1. So nearest to the root. Okay. Now, so we have to uh, draw a second line here from A to B. So therefore, uh, this is now my point 1. I say point A, let us say point A. And then as well as uh, here, B, this is point uh, 2 or point B. Okay. So if we apply the equation of the line, say... The equation of the line is y uh, minus y sub 1 equal to m x minus x sub 1. Okay, this is the equation of the line. Point slope form. Okay, now I have uh, uh, given here the equation. Look at this equation. So y minus y1, or y1 is uh, approximately we're focusing on his, uh, on this point. So y minus f of a. So our y1 is f of a. Okay. Our slope is um, slope of the second line. Okay. So our f of b will be uh, y sub 2. Okay. And then uh, our b here is x sub 2. Okay, so y2 minus uh, f of a, f of a is y sub 1. Okay, so therefore, that is, this is it. f of v minus f of a, so this is y2 minus y1, based on this figure. Over x sub 2, x sub 2 is b, minus x sub 1 is a. And then x minus x sub 1, so x minus a. Okay, so we have to cross multiply this one. Uh, okay, I will divide this by x minus a. So therefore, the x minus a transferred to the left-hand side equation. Okay, so this will be the next, uh, the new equation. So at this point, x equal to x1, y0. So here, so I'm referring to this uh, point. Refer this point x1. So the coordinates of this point is uh, x1 0. Okay, so if I substitute this one to this equation using these coordinates, I have uh, the y here is 0. 0 minus f of a using these coordinates these coordinates okay so then you uh, so our x now is x sub 1 okay so x sub 1 minus a so nothing change here nothing change here so therefore uh, f of b minus f of a over b minus a, so nothing changed in the right-hand side equation. So, uh, if we cross-multiply this one, we have uh, a negative f of a multiplied by b minus a. Okay? Okay. This one. And then equal to the right-hand side equation, so this is f of v minus f of a multiplied by x1 minus a. Okay, so if I will distribute this one, 
there is one. So I have a negative b f of a plus a f of a. So that is the result of the left hand side equation. And then I will evaluate the right hand side equation. So x1 f of b minus x1 of f of a and then minus a f of b and then plus a f of a. So notice that this a f of a will cancel out. Okay, so the remaining um, in my left hand side equation is negative b f of a equal to x1 f of b minus x1 f of a. I will just copy this one. This is now uh, the remaining uh, equations in the right hand side function. So, okay, if I transpose this one to this the left hand side equation, this will be the resulting uh, uh, equations. So therefore, I factor out x1, this one, x1, f of b minus f of a. So therefore, I can now get the value of x1, which is uh, a f of b minus b f of a all over f of b minus f of a. So this is now my first approximate uh, root okay now for finding the second approximate root so meaning it will be closest to the root okay so if f of a and f of x1 so what i mean is uh we have to check the opposite signs of this uh, if we evaluate f of a and f of x1 so such that f of a is less uh, greater than 0 and f of x1 is less than 0. So again, this is now the formula for my second approximate root. So where, where x2 is equal to a f of x1 minus x1 f of a uh, all over f of x1 minus f of a because uh, uh, my b here uh, becomes f of x1 here, this point. Okay, so uh, this is a iterative process and this is a continuous uh, process in approximating the root. So this uh, method is we have two uh, by uh, for example, this is now the new root, say x2. So x2. So meaning uh, it will be closest if we draw an, another second line here. So again, it will be closest. So this is x2. And again, uh, another approximate root to x3. So in the same way, we can get x3, x4. Uh, until xn till we can get the required root nearer to the root of the equation this uh, uh, the ultimate goal is to have a function of x equal to zero okay so let's have some uh, example for this method say uh Example, I have example here. Find the roots of the function f of x equal to x cubed minus 4x plus 1 by regular fallacy method. So up to three decimal places. So I have uh, given here initial uh, uh, values of the approximating of the root. So say a equals 0, b equal to 1. So, for example, if I will evaluate f of 0 in my equation, say, say this equation, this is the function. So, okay, so that is uh, f of 0 equal to uh, 0 cube uh, minus uh, 4 times 0 and then plus 1 so I can get that equal to 1 
Okay, so f of 0, so this is it. So f of 0, or that is f of a, equal to 1. So I put here positive value, because a 1 is a positive value. Okay, so in f of 1, which is a v equal to 1, so f of b uh, equal to minus 2. So similarly, if we have value of f of b, we substitute here in our function. Okay, 1 cube uh, minus uh, 4 times 1, that is 1 minus 4, that is minus 3, plus 1, that is uh, minus 2. So we have negative value. So meaning, uh, it, uh, it is uh, sufficient to the rule. We back here. So we have opposite signs. Okay. So we have opposite sign. Root lies in x1 and xm. Okay. So therefore, the formula we have get here, based on uh, this derivation of the formula of the regular fallacy, we come up to this. So x1, say, a or a is 0. Okay. Substitute f of b is uh, minus 2. Here, minus 2. And then b is minus 1 multiplied by the f of a 1. Okay. And then f of b is minus 2 f of a minus 1. Okay. So the result of this using the formula is 1 over 3. Or that is the sim decimal point is 0.333. So if we have to evaluate f of x1. Okay. Uh, this one. f of x1. Okay. Say f of 1 third using this uh, function, f of one-third. So one-third cube minus four times one-third plus one. This is one over 27 minus four over three plus one. So the resulting will be f of one-third as negative eight uh, over 27. So this is a negative value. So therefore, on the approximating the root, we have a uh, we have to deal with the uh, the root that uh, lies between this f of a and f of x1 because we cannot uh, say that the root lies between f of b because f of b has negative two value or negative value and then f of x1 has negative value so our approximating in the root lies between f of a and f of x1 Okay, so second, uh, we'll get x2. So this is now the result. So a of x1 minus x1 f of a over f of x1 minus f of a. So we have 9 over 35. Okay, so that is 0.257 in decimal value. So again, if we evaluate this one, f of x2, so therefore, again, we have to evaluate using this uh, function. Okay? So, f of x2. So, f of x2 equal to, that is f of now f of 9 over 35 9 over 35 okay so similarly uh, 9 over 35 so that I uh, will power that by cube cube minus uh, 4 times uh, 9 over 35 and then plus plus 1 so the resulting will be uh, this uh, uh, this uh, value which is negative 496 over 42875 so again we get negative value so again we have the approximation that the root lies between f of a and f of x2. 
So again, we get x3 using the slope, a uh, point slope formula. So x3, okay, we get this one. So again, uh, if we evaluate x3 using this uh, equation or function, we have to able to get uh, this value. Again, uh, we have get a negative value. So the root lies between f of a and f of x3. Okay, so evaluate x4 again, so we get uh, 0.2541. Okay. And then we evaluate f of x4 using this uh, equation, uh, we get the negative value. So I have made a conclusion here that the iterations will stop here since x3 and x4 have same values after three decimal places as you can see uh, x3 is uh, this one 0 0.2542021 and then the value for x4 is similarly the same so hence the regular fallacy method uses the approximation of the slope of the second line l joining the two points continuing this process by iteration the slope will converge uh, to the root of the function okay so uh, this will be now the, um, the illustration of irregular fallacy method uh, that is converging to the root so for example this is now our, our first approximation x1 so we draw a second line here l joining from point a to point b so Okay, we get the slope here using the formula we had uh, derived uh, in the previous slide. Again, so this method is uh, approximating to the Navy's root. So this is now the root of the function. So take note that the root of the function always lies on the x-axis. So which make the function of x equal to zero so that is our ultimate goal if we have to find f of x zero uh, we already find the root of the function so as you can see uh, i also uh, graph this in matlab so this function can be graphed using matlab and the roots of this function can be determined using graphical approach so for finding a root using the graphical approach, it must be keep in mind that the root uh, always lies on the x-axis and which always consider f of x equals 0. So as a summary, so the root that we have find is this one. So we have already find the root x1 point two five four one. So the other root is uh, here this is x2 and this x3 so to find this root again we have to uh, uh, set an initial guess or approximate root okay take note this is the x-axis x-axis actually this is the graph of uh, this function using the MATLAB uh, software okay uh that's the end of my presentation and thank you for watching thank you very much so we'll continue on the next bracketing method this is the newton uh, robson method thank you